Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my Stampin' Studio. I'm Tina Rappi. Uh, we're going to have some fun tonight, but I need to tell you, um, <laughs> I need to tell you what's been going on here. So last week when I got on, I had mentioned how I wasn't really feeling all that good, but was starting to get better. Well, the following day I was sick and didn't go to work. And then on Friday, I had a doctor's appointment and I decided I'd better just test for COVID before I go um, so that I didn't bring it into anybody. And lo and behold, I had COVID. So um, I am feeling 100% better now, but um, was down and out from last Wednesday through today was the first day I could go to work per my doctor. Um, which was a little frustrating for me. I thought, gosh, if I'm off of work, there's all the stamping stuff I could be getting done, but I really just didn't have the energy for it. But anyway, I'm doing well now. The other issue that I've been having is my computer. About three weeks ago, my computer stopped allowing me to send emails. I could receive them, but I couldn't send them. So a lot of my emails um, will come through my cell phone too, through uh, Gmail, but so I could respond to a few that way, but otherwise it was stuck. And Dave tried working on it and the whole thing froze up on him. So he did some work on it and then all of a sudden my computer would not start. And so my computer was in being fixed, got it back today, yay, hallelujah. Um, tried doing a couple of things that I needed to do, like print out this thing. <laughs> um, I can't open any documents that I have, so that's interesting too. So on this, oh, I'll show it to you when it's laying down so you can read it the right way, but um, for a girl who is not techie um, at all, this is frustrating as can be. And even my husband who understands technical stuff way more than me, he's frustrated too. So we're going to get there, but yeah, this has been nuts. So let me go ahead and turn things down. So give me just a second here. We're going to get this all set up. I'm going to make sure I'm going to turn the volume up all the way. Okay. And let's get everything else out of the way here. Scooting this over and then let's turn it so you can see down. Okay. There we go. All right. So this is the first thing that I was talking about. Um, my um, online store and as with all my Wednesday workshops, place a minimum order of $40 before shipping and tax between Wednesday, December 7th, and Saturday, December 10th. So I had to take my old one from last week, scratch everything out, and handwrite it in here because I can't bring up any documents or create anything new on my computer right now. So anyway, this is the stamp set that we're going to be using tonight. And let me just show you the projects again. So the first one is this moose card. And this card has the book binding fold on it. And then we're going to make this little holder. It is a tissue holder and a chapstick holder. I thought it was definitely appropriate for this time of year. And then we have this little treat holder that can hold all kinds of different things in there. So that's what we're going to be making tonight. So I am going to keep an eye on things. Um, before I end up forgetting, last week's um, gift that I was offering to um, those that shared um, the Facebook post um, or the YouTube video, which this will become a YouTube video, um, and let me know that you shared it. All those names would go in a drawing, and these um, little gold adhesive back swirls is what would be won by someone, and that someone, uh, after I did the drawing, is Charlotte Mittler. Charlotte Mittler. So Charlotte, you need to contact me um, 
letting me know what your address is and these will go in the mail to you. All right. For this week's giveaway, for those that um, share this, um, you will get your name in the drawing for these sparkle adhesive backed gems. And you can't see it here, but there's some really pretty pink ones in here too. Oops, let me get it open. Yeah. So that will go out to a lucky someone drawn from those who share this video. All right, let's jump ahead and get started here. So for the first card, I have a piece of Knight of Navy and I have scored this at five and a half. So let me do that. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate it. And so it's scored at four and a half. And then it is, I'm sorry, it is scored at five and a half. And it is also scored here at four and a quarter. This one is going to get bent backwards. Now, all these measurements can be found on my blog, which is stampinstudio.com. You will find those in my blog post tomorrow. Okay, so we've got that. And then let me get all my other little parts here. I have a piece of the um, Storybook Gnomes designer series paper, and we are going to attach that to this part of the card front. I got um, yesterday, I, I had express shipped my order, my pre-order from the mini catalog, the spring mini catalog, and that came yesterday or Monday? It came Monday. So I think that I may be doing a video um, showing you all of the stuff that I got because right now I can't um, show you the inside of the catalog, but I can show you actual product. So yeah, I think we're going to be doing that. Okay, so now I have some of the white glittered ribbon, white organdy glittered ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure some off and grab my scissors. And let me grab my Okay, so that's stuck on there. I'm going to open this up, and this is going to go across here. And what I like to do is on the inside, put some of the adhesive to hold this down. Oops, that's not enough here. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to take another little piece and tuck right under here and just tie it in a knot and trim off the excess. Okay, so we have that. And then I'm going to go ahead on this inside part this is what makes it seam binding, fold. Okay, I'm gonna glue that right down. Okay, so now, instead of opening all the way up to here, it opens like that, all right? Next, I've got a piece of balmy blue, and this measures um, four by four. And then I have a piece that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters of basic white. And so for this, let me just bring up my uh, stamp pad here. And I have the snowflake images from the stamp set. Everything that I'm using is from this stamp set. And we're gonna use balmy blue ink. And this. 
All right, and so I am lightly going to stamp this all over. And as I do that, I want to keep turning it so that I get the snowflakes are not in the exact same spot on all of it. How's everybody coming with their Christmas preparations? I got my tree up over the weekend. It took me three days to do it, but I got it. Okay, so we've got our snowflakes. And then let's go ahead and we're going to put this on. Oh, wait, we got to do one other thing. Well, I can do it once it's on here. Generally, I like to do all the stamping first. So in case I goof, I can just flip the paper over, but I already have um, already have adhesive on the back of that. Okay, so I want to get the words. You're the coolest. And we're going to use Memento ink. And I think about right here. There we go. You're the coolest. Okay. Then I have a piece of basic white. And this measures four by four. This is for the inside. And somewhere here, I just have to find where I put it. And of course, I'm not finding it right now. No. Well, I have a little piece of this designer paper here, uh, one inch by um, one inch by four inch that would go right here. I, I'm sure I'll find it because I had it just a minute ago. It's just buried right now, I'm sure. Okay, and then have a scrap piece of basic white and we're going to bring out the memento ink and that moose stamp he's he's so adorable all the little critters in this are but... okay cut that nice and inked up and then let's bring it over onto here and so All right, then out come the Stampin' Blends. And on all three of these projects, it just takes two combo sets of blends. All right, so for the mousse, we're going to use the bronze to color his body in. And um, generally in the shades, there's a light and dark of each color. But with the bronze, you get bronze and ivory together. And so we'll also use the ivory on this. All right. Now I am not gonna make you sit and watch me do all the coloring here, but let me just get this. All right, oh, and his little foot here. We'll get his face later. All right, so the body and the face are the um, bronze. And then the ivory are going to be his antlers. Okay, and then his scarf is going to be light and dark, the combo of balmy blue. All right, so let me just get some of this done. All right, and then for the scarf, I actually did an alternating pattern here. So we're gonna go light and dark and light and dark and white. All right, got that. And then for his feet, 
we're going to use the gray granite and we're going to use the darkest one. All right. So that's all the coloring that would be done on the whole thing. And then we would take our scissors and some of you like fussy cutting and others of you are going to grumble, but um, there are not dies for this. And I just think it looks so much cuter with the animals popped up off of it. So anyway, I went through and I um, fussy cut that. So here is the finished one. So you can see what I was talking about with the scarf. I did light and dark and left some white spots. Um, yeah, so there's that. So I am going to stick this on here. Let me grab my dimensionals. So for those of you who are watching right now that are attending my cruise, um, you should have gotten a um, email from the, um, oh, for Pete's sake, the travel agent um, earlier this week because we are two months out and I will be sending an email to all of you because we will be doing uh, you have the option to sign up for card swap and um, there's going to be t-shirts for everyone so I need to get sizes um, so I have not forgotten you guys <clears throat> if my computer is not working properly by the end of the week you'll be looking for an email from my husband Dave or from his email because um, I don't want to wait any longer for things so just be aware of that okay so we've got some dimensionals on here and I am going to stick that down. And I did not find the little piece I'm missing yet, but let's do this. Here is the finished one, okay? And then here is that designer paper there. I know, Karen, isn't the moose just the cutest? His smile, that big wide grin, love it. And so this seam binding book or book binding uh, fold is, has got to be the absolute easiest fun fold card there is. So just like that. Okay, now let's move on to the next project, which is this. Okay, so this time we're using the little raccoon, same paper, same ribbon. And this opens up here. So there's room here if you want to write something, but it holds a package of Kleenex tissues and chapstick. All right, this is way easier than it might seem. Let me get all my parts over here. All right, so we are starting out with a piece of Knight of Navy. And again, measurements will be on the blog. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother measuring it, but it is scored in here. So I'm gonna fold it on the score lines. Okay, there and there. And that's what allows it to be able to stand up. Then you're gonna want a paper punch. This is just a regular old paper punch. And I'm gonna, on that center part, I'm gonna insert it all the way in and punch. And then turn it around, insert it in all the way and punch. All right. And then we're just going to hang out with that. I've got two pieces of the designer paper and I have two pieces of basic white. And so we're going to attach this and it's going to have just the tiniest, tiniest border. So you can just barely see a little bit of the white around it. All right, there's one. other one all right so we have that these are both exactly the same one's gonna go on the outside cover like that 
and one will go on the inside cover. So are you guys interested in me showing um, a sneak peek of the products that I got from the mini catalog? Um, I know to me, sometimes it's easier to really get a grasp of the stuff, especially like the designer paper and the embellishments and stuff, um, seeing it rather than just a photo of it. So let me know if that is something you're interested in. So here's the front, here's the inside. Next, we're gonna grab our tissues and glue or glue, chapstick, for gosh sakes. Okay, and I'm using the Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm just going to run a strip of that down here and then attach the Kleenex over to the side. And then for the um, chapstick, we're going to do the same thing over here. It doesn't take a bunch. All right, and that's going to stick. Then let's get out that ribbon. And what I'm going to do here with the ribbon is I'm going to start on the outside and bring that through one hole. And then back up through the other. Okay. And then I'm gonna just simply tie it in a knot. Get this out of the way. So let me just knot it. Cause this is not one that needs to be um, untied to use. So I'm gonna do a double knot there and then just tie it in a bow. And that's kind of hard for me to do with it standing up. So I'm just laying it down to make it easier on me. And just adjust those lengths a little bit. Okay, and then we'll trim this off. All right. So we're getting close to being done here. The next thing is I have used basic white and I used the beautiful shapes dies and I used the largest hexagon one and cut that out, right? And then let's get this mat back over here. And those little uh, snowflakes that we did before, we're gonna do those again, but this time we're only going to do the tiniest snowflake, okay? So there's these three that are all connected together and we only want the little one on there. So how on earth are we doing that? Well, I'll show you. Um, we're just watching where we stamp it so that we don't get the big image on there. So I'm gonna put some in as far as I can. Some will be right on the edge so that we get a, a real splattering of things. Let's stick one right here. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we have that. And then on a scrap piece, we're going to get out that raccoon. Get him stamped on there. And that's with the Memento ink. And again, we're going to go to the Stampin' Blends. Same colors um, that we used before, only we don't need the bronze and ivory. Okay, so this time it is just the balmy blue combo and the gray granite combo. So what I did is I used the darkest color for 
the accents on his face, so around his eyes. And then on his tail. And the rest of his body would be the light gray granite. And then for his clothing, we're going to use the light balmy blue. So this one colors in pretty darn fast, but you get the picture there. And then again, you're gonna grab the scissors and do a little fussy cutting around him just giving yourself a little border. So one thing that I will tell you with fussy cutting, sometimes people have problems with it because they're cutting like this. And what you wanna do is you want to, you're just cutting down with your scissors. So let me show you, cutting down and you're moving the paper while squeezing and cutting down the whole way as it turns. That way you get much smoother um, cut lines and it goes quicker than trying to go cut, 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 like that, okay? So let's, uh, let's get my finished one here. This is going to go on here with dimensionals. Now this stamp set is, and this paper, the storybook gnomes, are um, two items that are on the retiring list. So everything on the retiring list is available until January 4th or when sold out. So there's not a guarantee on them. I just love this stamp set. It, it just makes me smile. All right, let's get this. And then with that, we're gonna hang his tail over the edge a little bit, like that. All right, and then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this to go on the box. Okay, and this is gonna go right on there. There's our second project. Okay, we've got one more to go. And that is this adorable little container. You guys are not going to believe how easy this is. So first of all, we have this is called delicate detailed treat boxes. Okay. And they come like this. They already have the adhesive on them. It's all die cut out and it's the proper shape. But I wanna add a little bit of color to it. And so um, I just have some scratch paper here and I am laying the die cut part down and I have one of the blending brushes and the balmy blue ink. Now, when you are using the blending brush, watch what happens. If I set it down and start moving, you get a dark blotch and generally we're not looking for that. So what I want here is just to give everything a soft flood of color. So I'm actually gonna start off the image and then bring it on. Okay, so ink it up, start it off what we're sponging and then bring it on. Now, some people have the mindset that you need one of these brushes for every one of your colors. Not true at all. These can be rinsed out and used again. So let me show you. Like this is one that was rinsed out and even though it still holds some of the color of the ink, it's completely um, clear. So you don't have to worry about it. So I just use them over and over again when I'm, when I'm done with that session of stamping, then I clean them off run it under running water, doesn't require any soap at all. So it's real easy. I just wanna get some darker color down here on the bottom. And let's see. All right, 
I'm going to darken things up just a little bit more on the flowers. All right, like that. Here's another really cool thing. If you use like white or vanilla cardstock as your scratch paper, and as you did this and you held it all in the same spot instead of moving it all over like I was doing, you get this beautiful little stencil, which would look cool as a background on a card. So that's just something else you can do with it. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to fold this up. So like I said, it has all these score lines. It comes flat like this. We are going to fold on each score line. Let's get these. So the blue is gonna go on the outside. And then we'll fold in each of these little tabs. All right. So now to put it together, hang on, let me get those popped out of there. So there's two little pre-punched spots there. Okay, to put it together, we're gonna take the adhesive off of these tabs. So I'm just gonna do two of them here to begin with. And I'm gonna bring this up and stick it right together, okay? And then we'll do the same thing over here. We're gonna close that up, bring it right together. All right, then we're gonna do the same thing here, taking off the adhesive. And now it's gonna go on the inside here. Good. And good. Once I have those down, then from the inside, I wanna make sure that that is, um, that the adhesive tabs are stuck down really well. So using the bone folder and tucking that in there, that's kind of the key. And then these tabs just get folded in. You put your little gifty in there, whatever it might be. And then in these holes that are here, that's where you're gonna use some of the ribbon. So again, we're gonna start on the front or on the top, bring it down, bring it through. Okay. And this time, in order to open the package, you do need to do the ribbon. So I'm only tying it once. I'm not tying it in a double knot. And then we'll tie this ribbon up. And I always like to just play around with my bow a little bit to get it even loops on each side. Okay, like that. All right, then next what I have is, how come I get, there it is. I have this die cut piece out of Balmy Blue and I have a tiny little oval out of um, Basic White. And both of those are die cut using the All That dies. So it's this one for the Balmy Blue and it's this one for the little oval. So I pre-cut that and then I have a little banner piece. It's just half an inch by four inches and then I just took and cut those ends out. So on the little oval, we're gonna stamp the adorable little bird. And then we're gonna go back to the snowflakes and put a few little snowflakes around here. So again, it's gonna be just the tiniest little one. And we're gonna stamp that. All right. We've got that. You know what's happening next. The birdie's getting colored in. 
with the light balmy blue. And the scarf is going to be light and dark balmy blue. All right, you get the gist of it. And then that is going to go on here with some dimensionals. So let's find those here again. And I will finish coloring that myself later so you don't have to sit and watch it. Okay, it's going to go right on there. And then this is going to get dimensionals on the back. And this is gonna go, whoop, how about right side up? Right down in there. Then we have to add our banner. So the basic white, and then I'm using Your Friendship Warms My Heart and the Memento ink. I like to hover over the top and then just carefully set it down and hold it in place, making sure that I don't rock like this. If you rock like this, you can, oh, it didn't show up that time, but sometimes you get the halo effect there. All right, now let me show you how, on this banner, how we made it curved. So you're gonna take your bone folder and you're gonna start on one end and bring it across, okay? So see how it, made itself kind of into a circle. Now we're gonna take it from the front side, just on the ends, and curve that in the other direction. Okay, so now we have a little banner that's, that's like this. And how do we stick that on? Well, grab a couple dimensionals here. We're gonna put the dimensionals at the fold area. And then try and pull those babies off. And then kind of pull it out to where you want it. So I am bringing it so the dimensionals kind of sit right on the edges there. And then we can kind of just push that down a little bit. All right, so there we go. So let me get all of the projects out here together. So there's one two, one, two, let's stick the moose in the middle, and three. So there are all three projects. And again, like I said, if you would like the make and take packet to be able to make all three of these, um, all that you need to do, you'll get that free from me when you place a minimum order of $40 and that's before shipping on tax. And that needs to happen between today, Wednesday, December 7th, and this Saturday, December 10th. Uh, you do that and use this host code and I will get these all prepped for you. Um, all the die cutting will be done. Um, you'll need the stamps and the ink and the blends to do it. But um, if you don't have these particular stamp sets, obviously you can swap out for something that you have too. So I hope you enjoyed your time tonight. Reminder to share um, and posts that you shared and you will get your name in a drawing for these fine sparkle adhesive backed gems and then um, next week I'll have something more to share with you so thanks so much for joining me and I want you to stay inspired and never stop creating have a good night bye-bye